Now we follow other stories of the day. Amid growing concerns following North Korea's recent launch of a military spy satellite, South Korea is seeking to spend more than $260 billion on defense over the next five years with a focus on bolstering its three-axis deterrent system. Pei yun -ji explains more. The Ministry of National Defense is looking to spend nearly 350 trillion Korean won, or 266 billion U.S. dollars, over the next five years to bolster the military's defense capabilities. It aims to increase the country's annual defense budget by 7 percent each year, so that the money available yearly, which stood at about $43 billion this year, could reach $60 billion by 2028. The spending plan is subject to National Assembly approval. The country aims to especially focus on strengthening the military's three-axis deterrent system against North Korea's military threats. Announcing the mid-term defense blueprint for the 2024 to 2028 period, the ministry said it'll secure defense capabilities to swiftly detect signs of North Korean provocations through spy satellites and reconnaissance aircraft and quickly analyze captured images. It plans to operate a total of five military reconnaissance satellites by 2025 and also use medium-altitude unmanned aerial vehicles to boost surveillance on key targets. By 2028, the ministry also aims to complete the deployment of tactical surface-to-surface -surface missiles designed to destroy hostile tunnel targets and deploy more stealth fighters and 3,000-ton submarines equipped with submarine-launched ballistic missiles. As part of efforts to better defend the capital area and the country's key facilities, it plans to use various missile systems, including the Chungung-2 surface-to-air missile and a long-range surface-to-air missile. It also plans to develop improved versions of medium-range and long-range missiles over the next five years to create a multi-layered missile defense system. Peung Ji, Arirang News.